This is going to be the first option for the advanced group and we're going to be looking at weighted pull-ups today. So with this option, we are now going to have a look at weighting ourselves, so putting extra weight onto our body to make that pull-up a little bit harder. So we've got to the point where we can do body weight pull-ups and we now have to increase the amount of stress on our body to make it a little bit harder so we keep adapting and we keep getting stronger. So to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to put this belt on, all right? So it's fairly simple. You can see that it has a, a belt part, a leather part, and then on the end, it has a chain with two hoops on each end of the belt. So I'm going to put this on like so. Now, the first thing you want to do is thread the chain through the hoop, okay? So you now have the belt on like that. All right, so it's gonna stay on, the, uh, on your hips. Next up, you want to grab yourself a weight. So I have some of these tri plates, and this one is a 1.25 kilo plate. So fairly light, you can get them a lot lighter, and there's lots of different increments you can buy. Um, and they can start from like 0 0.25, 0 0.1 of a kilo, and it allows very small increments to increase, okay? So I'm gonna start with this one, which is 1.25, and I'm gonna thread the chain through one of the holes, okay, like so, and then I'm just gonna clip the chain back onto the other side. Now, just as a, a little tip, try to put the, the, the clip, so the clip is like that, the clip away from you so it is not going to catch on your t-shirt or jumper. So now you have the weight hanging between your legs, okay, in this triangle formation. Okay, so now we've loaded our body up with a little bit of extra weight. We can now do the normal pull-up with everything that we've done in the pull-up section the exact same way, okay? So you're gonna hang on the bar, you're gonna do full range, so you're gonna start from the dead hang position, pull up as high as you can, and try to get that so you're doing an absolute normal pull up, but just with an extra piece of weight, okay? So grab, squeeze as hard as you can, dead hang position, pull up, and come back down. Okay, so that's how we use the weight belt to increase the amount of stress on our body using small increments of weight. And obviously you can use different weight plates to make this easier or harder. So this is 2.5 kilos, so it's double that one. We can do the same thing again, pass it through, clip it on, and we go again. So from here, dead hang position, pulling up and coming back down again. Squeeze and down. So let's have a look at some of the positives and negatives to using weight plates and a weight belt. So the very first primary plus for this is the fact that it, it is very, very scalable. You can put on very small increments of weight and you can go up infinitum, okay? You can add as much weight as you like to the person who is doing the pull-up and make it easier or harder for them, depending on how much weight you put on. As I also mentioned, those weights that you put on, you can have one gram plates, you can put 10 gram, you can put 50, one kilo, all the way up to 50 kilos. There are a lot of different plates and it is really just down to your budget and what you can afford or get hold of in terms of the plates. So something else to be aware of is you don't just need to use plates, you can use kettlebells as well. So, the great thing about kettlebells are that they come in quite standard sizes and you can put one of these on, they hook in exactly the same, you just pass it through the handle and clip back on again. And it means that you can actually clamp these a lot easier than the flat plates, okay, between your legs and it stops them swinging so much. So some people prefer using kettlebells, other people prefer using the weight plates, most of the time you're going to use a weight plate because the kettlebells don't actually come in that many different types of increments of weight size compared to the plates. So you'll probably have to use a combination of the two to get the weight that you are trying to look for. So another great plus with this type of training 
is the fact that it, it is very versatile. And what I mean by that is you can do pure strength training with weights, you can do muscular endurance, you can do pure endurance, you can do hypertrophy, you can do power work, you can do a lot of different types of training depending on how much weight you have and what you're able to do. So it becomes a very versatile tool to be able to load your body up with extra weight. So a couple of the negatives, the first one being you need equipment. Again, you would have to go out and we're gonna to have to buy some equipment, the weight belt, and the weight plates. Now again, you can get the, the belt quite cheaply off Amazon or on eBay, um, and you could probably pick up some plates very cheap secondhand off eBay again. Um, so actually this stuff is not very expensive, and to be honest, you could probably find other things that maybe that you could load up to use as weights as well. The only thing is that with the plates, they're marked on exactly how much they weigh, and it allows you to be a lot more accurate with the type of training you're doing. So when we are actually doing a lot of sets and a lot of reps, something else that becomes quite apparent is when you have big weights between your legs, and these are gonna start swinging as you're coming down and pushing and pulling back up again and the momentum from the weight plates actually can cause a few issues in terms of swinging and kipping and a few other little bits and pieces as well. Um, so it's slightly harder to control when you've got extra weight. Um, so it's just something to think about and something to keep in mind that you wanna keep that under control when you're doing lots of reps and lots of sets. So something else that you can use are weight vests. So these are like jackets that you can strap to your chest and it means that they're against your chest and stick to your chest. So you, they're not gonna move around as you're doing the pull up. The trouble with these are, there's two problems with this. Number one is the actual distance from your chest is going to mean that it's harder at the top end to get past the bar and you'll find that you won't be able to get higher than if you didn't have the weight vest on. The second issue is, generally these weight vests come in uh, different sizes, but they have little sand sacks that you can either replace or put more in. The trouble is that these sand bags, and some of them don't even have them, they're stitched in and you can't change them, but the sandbags are weird sizes and to buy more, actually you can't do. And if you want to put more weight than the actual weight vest can do, you'd have to buy another weight vest. That's where you turn to the weight belt because like I said, you can add as much as you like or reduce as much as you like. And all you really have to do is have the weights which are very, very easily available as opposed to these increments of weight vests, which is 10 kilos, 20 kilos, 30 kilos, generally, it's gonna be a lot harder to manage a scale up and down from those set amounts. One of the last things I'd like to leave you with is that these weight belts and the weight plates are not just for the advanced group. So even though this is the first option for the advanced section, I want it to be known that actually you will be using these as a beginner too. Now, when you're using the bands, and the bands come in, again, different ranges, and they can pull and help you different amounts. To go from an increment of, let's say, the green band to the blue band, we've said that you can change the length and you can change how many knots you put in it to make it shorter or longer. But what we could also do is keep it at the same length and slowly add extra weight using the weight belt as well. So we're increasing very small amounts, but while using the bands as well. When we get to the point where the, the difference between the green band and the weight belt equals the blue band, then we would just switch over and take the weight belt off again. We're gonna get more into that when we are looking at the programming side of things, but it's definitely worth keeping in mind that this is not just for the advanced group. So there you have it. It's the first option for the advanced group. This is a very scalable version where we can use a weight belt to increase weight and allow us to do pull-ups and get stronger with our pull with very, very small gradual amounts.